Number 1. Komodo Dragon Varanus Komodensis weighing in at 300 pounds and 10 feet in length, the Komodo Dragon ranks number 1 as the largest lizard. The young dragons are 18 inches long and live in the trees for several months while they grow. Adult Komodo Dragons will eat their young and other dragons but typically eat carrion as their primary food source. At times they will also eat pigs, deer, and cattle. They have been known to attack and eat humans. Number 2, Common, or Malayan, Water Monitor, Varanus Salvator, Southeast Asia is home to the Malayan Water Monitor. Growing as long as 9.8 feet, this ferocious lizard can swim underwater for long periods and live happily on crab and other invertebrates. It can also climb trees and feast on what it finds in a bird's nest. They are not timid from urban areas and have been spotted eating roadkill. The tail and the neck are pretty long, and the sharp claws and tail are used as weapons. Humans bitten by the Malayan water monitor will not die from the venom but will experience some mild effects of the poison and bacteria from the bite. Number 3, Tree Crocodile, or Crocodile Monitor, Varanus Salvadori, the tree crocodile typically ranges from 7 to 9 feet, although the longest measures at an impressive 16 feet, giving them the win for longest lizard, the Komodo is still the largest by size. The longest portion of the lizard is the tail, which is half its length. They like to eat carrion, small reptiles, mammals, and bird eggs. This species is considered a challenging hunt due to its aggression. However, they prove to be valuable for their meat and skin for clothing and drumheads. Many are caught in traps that were set to catch other animals. Monitor lizards have snake-like tongues that give them better accuracy in searching for prey. The long tail is used as a whip, and the serrated teeth will slice and tear meat somewhat like a crocodile, which is why they have the name. Number 4, Parentia goanus guavanus giganteus, Australia is home to the Parenti lizard, and the Komodo is a relative. A bite from the Parenti lizard is not poisonous but will take a long time to heal. The lizard does possess evolutionary remains of a venom gland which is a possible reason for the length of healing after a bite. Their favorite meals are turtle eggs, insects, birds, other reptiles, small mammals, and marsupials. At 8.2 feet long and an average of 44 pounds, the parenti lizard lives up to 40 years in the wild and hibernates during the colder months. Number 5 Black-throated monitor, Varanus albigularis microstictus, this is large lizards is often kept as a pet. Their temperament is very mild when raised as a pet, and they even need interaction with their humans and are said to recognize their owners. If you are inclined to keep a black-throated monitor, they like to play, and they need exercise. You can take them for walks on a leash. This is a stress reliever for your lizard and will give him a better immune system, improved health, and socialization. Those that grow up in the wild can become aggressive due to their need to play. The uncertainty of what a person wants may cause them to become fearful and lash out. Number 6, Nile Monitor, Varanus niloticus. Our sixth largest lizard is the Nile Monitor at an average weight of 44 pounds and is 8 feet long. Their tails are nearly 1.5 times the length of their body with an olive green to black color with cream or yellow colored wee stripes on their head and neck. These stripes look like bands or spots as you look farther down the back. At about 2 years of age of 14 inches, the females will begin having eggs. They are deposited in burrows, typically 12 to 60 eggs at a time, depending on the size of the lizard number 7, lace monitor, Varanus various named appropriately, the lace monitor is dark in color with cream to yellowish lace-like patterns. This is to help camouflage them from their predators. When they lay their eggs, the female monitor will dig the side of a termite mound and lay 6 to 12 eggs. The termites will rebuild their mound, thus protecting the eggs from predators and elements, keeping the eggs at a constant temperature. After about 7 months, the females will return to dig out the hatched eggs.
They are venomous but not deadly. Their long tails are used for balance while climbing, for whipping as a defense, swimming, and dominance when courting the females during the mating season. Number 8. Blue Iguana Cyclura Levisi As the name suggests, this lizard is blue to gray blue. It grows to be approximately 31 pounds and nearly 5 feet long. The coloring gives cover when the iguana camouflages itself among nearby rocks and scrub of Grand Cayman Island. An adaptable lizard makes its home dry, rocky forests with prickly foliage or moist areas of woodland forests, dry to subtropical or semi-deciduous forests. The blue iguana prefers to eat leafy greens, carrots, sweet potatoes, fungi, insects, soil, excrement, leaves, stems, fruits, and flowers. They like to bask in the sun and hide in rocks, crevice, or caves at night. Number 9. Galapagos Land Iguana Canolophus subcristatus The Galapagos Land Iguana is native to Galapagos. It will grow to be 28 to 30 pounds and just shy of 5 feet long. Their coloring is primarily yellow with white, black, and brown blotches. They are considered vulnerable. The rise in numbers of small animals such as cats, dogs, pigs, and rats has been a cause for the decrease in the land iguana population. More animals are hunting the same food sources, and these animals are predators to the young land iguana and their eggs. Number 10. Marine Iguana Umblirincus cristatus One of the fascinating lizard species is the marine iguana. They are the only lizard to swim in the ocean around the Galapagos Islands. The short blunt noses allow them to feed off the marine algae and seaweed. Using their claws to help them stay at the ocean floor and their flattened tails to help swim in a snake-like motion. They can remain submerged for up to 30 minutes and dive as deep as 65 feet underwater. They will sneeze out excess salt absorbed from extended periods in the ocean to prevent dehydration. During times of sparse food supply, the marine iguana can lose up to 20% of its size. This allows the lizard to survive on less food and remain healthy. Once the food supply is restored, the lizard will regain its former size. The males grow to be 26 pounds and around 4.5 feet in length, and the females are generally smaller at about 2 feet long.